Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of what looks like cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently, have U.S. equity futures trading the upside. Dow's up 244.7 tenths percent, a little over 1% for the NASDAQ 100. That's 126. About 1% for the S&P. That's 37 points and 1 and 2 tenths percent for the Na Russell 2000. That's about 22 points to the upside. Over in Asia last night, it was a sea of red, but all those Asian markets still have. Uh, well, I should say the Shanghai and the Nikkei, uh, Shanghai and the Hang Seng have A to B equals CD up patterns, and the uh, Nikkei does have a topping uh, signal out there. Uh, the, in Germany, you've got European markets up. Uh, the DAX up 175 points. The FTSE is up 64. If you caught the uh, if you caught the uh, Trader Z show that uh, we did uh, at between eight and nine, I gave you the levels that price needed to close above to suggest that they would negate their topping patterns. Gold has a TD9 count top. That's uh, off 60 cents right now. Silver is up nine pennies. In fact, let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. This will give you a better overview of what the markets are doing. Inside the ES Mini, you're consolidating with inside its daily profile. And that's between the range of 39 and a quarter to 40.19. Spot volatility X is trading below its 50 day exponential moving average that always puts the wind at the sales of the S&P 500. The NQ, it is consolidating with inside its daily profile. It has a strong resistance at 11.986 and 11.981 top of the weekly and then daily profile out there the u.s dollar index it has formed a uh, roads it has formed a buy the d point pattern a td9 count it did that on the trading session of november 15th that means that 105.15 is the most key level of support. If the markets, the U.S. equity futures are going to rally, price will have to close below 105.15. Otherwise, price has also formed a new bullish structured profile. And that says that the U.S. dollar index should rise to 108.02. If, in fact, it does that, we'll see the U.S. equity futures give up their gains at some point in time. Your goal's got a TD9 count top. That suggests it may want to go target the uh, 1741 level. Silver's got a TD9 count top. That suggests it may want to go target 2031. Light Sweet Crude is headed after headed after its uh, bottom of its weekly profile. And that's at the uh, price point of 76.88. Big old consolidation inside of natural gas. Strong resistance at six dollars and eighty-three cents. And a 30-year Treasury is trading above profile resistance. That suggests it may continue to move higher. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien with the Morning Market Kickoff is up next. Have a fantastic Friday. Thanks so much for joining us here at TFNN. I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday. Take care.